Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll see how we can able to download the Aster Dame. So what is actually Aster Dame that we'll see? So if you'll see this article by GI Geography, you'll able to see the five free global Dame data sources, which is available. So I have already shown how we can able to download the shuttle radar topographic mission that is the SRTM Dame. So that we can able to download from the UHJ Earth Explorer. If you didn't watch my previous video, you can just visit my channel Vikas Gadabode and you can able to watch this video, how to eliminate watershed using DEM data. Here I have already explained how you can able to download the DEM data and all that. Or else I will share the link in the description box where you can able to access the video. Okay. So, and after that, today we are going to download this Aster Global Digital Elevation Model. Okay. So this is the Aster DEM and we can able to download this from the NASA Earth Data website. If you'll right click, open attribute table. So you can able to see the new website will open. That is Earth Data Search. From here, we can able to download the Aster Dim. So before that, let we'll see what is Aster actually. Aster GDIM use stereoscopic pair and digital image correlation methods. Based on two images at different angle, it use a stereo pair and photogrammetry. So actually, this is using two images at different angles and it uses a stereo pair and a photogrammetry to major elevations. However, the amount of cloud cover affect the accuracy of Aster, which wasn't the case of SRTM then. So let we'll go and we'll download. So first you need to search here. That is a earth data search. Okay, so you can just click on the earth data search. First, you need to log in yourself here. Okay, if you didn't create your account, you need to create your account here. So just click on the earth data. So I have already logged in here. So if you didn't create your account, you can create your account here. I have already created my account. Okay. You can, uh, it will show you to create your account here. Okay. So after that, let, I will close this. Okay. Then we need to go to select our desired location where we want to download the data set. And there we need to select the tiles. Okay. We need to select the area. So to select the area option is here. That is a search by rectangle or you can select by polygon. So let, I will zoom the area. What are the area I want to download? And just click here, search by spatial rectangle. Now we can draw the rectangle, just left click on your mouse and you can able to draw the rectangle. So this is my study area and I'm interested to download Aster data for this, Aster dim for this. So we just need to come down site and click on the instruments. In the instruments, there is Aster. Okay. So let I will open this. So now when I will select the Aster, you will see the Aster team will appear here. Okay. That is the Aster global digital elevation model. If I click here, you can able to see two tiles are coming here that is covering my area. Okay. These two tiles. So if you want to download these tiles, you can able to just click on the download option and I need to download this TIFF file. So just click here. And this is start download here. Okay. Again, we can go to website. And we can again click on the download another tile. So this way very easily we can able to download the data set. But if you want some another data, then you can also download the different data sets like global forest cover changes. Then if you want to download this net CDF file, then also you can able to download then water bodies data set. So you can just able to click here and the data set is available for the download that you can able to download from here. Okay. So how much area it is covering, it is showing here. Okay. 
So, so this tiles is showing here. So same if you will select, so this will appear here and you can able to download. Okay. If you want to download, you just click on the download option and you can able to download the water bodies. So there are many different data sets which are available for Aster. What are the data you want? You can able to download from here. Then Aster real to surface temperature. So, uh, so we want to download the DEM data and we have downloaded the DEM data. So now we'll go to download option. Let I will open this. So this two dem I have downloaded. Let I will copy and I will paste in my folder where I'm working. So I'm working here. I will create a new folder here. Aster dem. Aster dem. I will paste here and let I will open this file here. Okay. So these files are there that I will remove from here. Just select all and right click and remove. Then now we need to go to view, then catalog pan, view, catalog pan. And we need to refresh the folder where we have kept our data set. So just go to the folder. What are the folder you're working? So I'm working in this folder. I will just right click and I'll refresh. So Aster dem. And these are the two dems which we have downloaded. So now you can able to see the elevation of that location. You can also classify this, just right click, go to symbology and you can able to classify this based on five classes or six classes. You can able to change the color from here. Okay. So this range indicating that elevation here. So in between 388 to 475, the highest elevation is in these locations. So this way you can able to download the Aster data set and you can able to see the elevation. Now, if you want to do mosaic and all that, that also you can able to do. For that, I have already shared some video you can able to watch or else you can go to processing tool and you can able to see the mosaic and you can able to do mosaic from here as well, mosaic to new raster. And you can able to choose both the files. So input parameter means we need to add this both the RAS, both the file. Okay. So 74, 75. And after that output location means where you want to save. Let I will go by default and let I will save in any folder. So this Aster folder I will select and just click on the OK. I will provide the name that is a mosaic.tiff. And a special reference if you want to provide that also you can able to provide. And how much bit data it is if you right click go to properties the source raster information is there you can able to see this 16 bit data is there okay so you can able to select the 16 bit and after that after that number of band so this is one band data okay this single band data so we need to provide one here and this is optional and just click on the run If your area is larger, you can similar way you can able to download the four or five tiles and you can able to mosaic. 
So this way very easily. Now you can able to see this two different tiles was there. And now it is mosaic to one single tile. So now you can able to prepare slope map, aspect map, contour map, hill shade map, or watershed map, whatever the map you, you want to prepare, you can prepare from this team data. So if you are having any doubts regarding all these things, you can ask me in the comment sections. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.